Prayer for Forgiveness of Sins Let us pray. Dear Father Lord, I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I come unto you this hour in search of forgiveness and cleansing from all my sins and iniquities. Both the known and unknown sins. Sins of commission and sins of omission, every defilement, every patrilineal and matrilineal sins and curses. Every generational and territorial sins. Dear Father Lord, I ask for total pardon, forgiveness, and cleansing, in the name and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your word of 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 is an inspiration and confidence for me to come. For it says, that if we confess our sins, that He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dear Father Lord, here I am unto you this hour for forgiveness and cleansing from every sin and unrighteousness, and I have the confidence that you will forgive me. For in your word of 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14, you said, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Dear Lord, yours I am, and your name have I been calling and believing on. Your face O Lord, have I sought and still seek for always. I have also turned away and repented of my evil and wrongful ways dear Lord in truth and faithfulness to your word. Forgive my every sin and cleanse me of any iniquity. Cleanse me from all my unrighteousness, and cause me to eat the good of this land. This I pray and ask of you dearest Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. For as the scripture says in Proverbs 28 verse 13, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Dear Father Lord, I confess unto you this hour, I have sinned, consciously and unconsciously, in acts and in words, by commission and by omission. Sins of faithlessness, ingratitude, immoral actions and immoral professions, sins of idolatry, adultery, fornication, lying, stealing, and a host of other actions and inactions that are sinful and unrighteous before you. Dear Father Lord, please have mercy on me and forgive me. For I have repented and forsaken him. Therefore dear Lord, let your grace and mercy rule, let the blood of Jesus Christ that speaks better things than the blood of Abel speak mercy, grace, pardon, and forgiveness unto my soul, in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, please forgive and cleanse me with the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ. For if you are to judge me according to my iniquities, I will have nowhere to stand. Therefore dear Lord, I come unto you like David in Psalms 51. I therefore say dear Lord, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, the only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was sharpened in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it, thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion, build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. 
But dear Lord, you delight in mercy and repentance because it is not your will for any to die, but for all to repent and come back to you for pardon and forgiveness. Therefore dearest Heavenly Father, I ask for your mercy, pardon, forgiveness and cleansing, in the name of Jesus Christ. And dear Father Lord, as you are forgiving of my sins, let every yoke and evil consequences of sin, be terminated and rooted out of my life and family forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the yoke of sin be broken from my life, in the name of Jesus. Let the end come for every consequences of sin and iniquities in my life, family and households. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every demon and agents of darkness that leverages on sin and iniquity to oppress me and the members of my household be routed and cast out of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let memories of sins and iniquities be wiped out of my memories and imaginations, in the name of Jesus Christ. Restore unto me dear Lord, the joy of my salvation, and let all that the devil the enemy has killed, destroyed, or stolen out of my life be restored to me. In accordance with your word of Joel chapter 2 verse 25, which you promise us restoration saying, And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. O Lord, you said that I shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise thy name of the Lord my God, that has dealt wondrously with me, and my people shall never be ashamed. Dear Father Lord, have mercy and graciously restore unto me, all that I have lost due to sin and iniquities. And for my shames, dear Lord give me double, in accordance with your word of Isaiah 61 verse 7. Which says, For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion, therefore in their land they shall possess the double, everlasting joy shall be unto them. Dear Father Lord, I pray for all my dearest listeners, those that have been under the burden of sin, shame and reproaches. Those that have almost been overcome with the sense of guilt for dear past lives and mistakes. Lord I pray for them, forgive their sins and free them from the sense of guilt and deliver them from the spirit of guilt feeling, in the name of Jesus Christ. For you O Lord delight in mercy and forgiveness of sins and iniquities. Therefore dear Lord, I pray you to forgive the sins and iniquities of any listener here who is burdened with the quilt of sins, in the name of Jesus. For you said in your word of Matthew 11 verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Father, because they are here now, give them rest from the burden and restlessness of the season of guilt, in the name of Jesus Christ. And as you forgive dear Lord, let every evil and predicament as a result of sin also leave their lives, in the name of Jesus. Restore to them whatever they have lost in accordance with your promises to restore as we know it in your word of Joel chapter 2 verse 25. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am in the middle of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. Restore to them whatever they have lost due to the cankerworm of sicknesses, palmerworm of deprivations, slavery and servitude, and the caterpillar of lack, abjection and restlessness, in the name of Jesus Christ. Restore their honor and dignity. Let shame and the cause of it be gone forever in their lives, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you dear Father Lord for answering us, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.